And while we know the virus attacks the respiratory system, making breathing really hard, doctors are also finding it's damaging the kidneys. Eliza Powell explains why this could complement or complicate treatment. We know the coronavirus damages patients' lungs, but doctors are now finding a new side effect, damaged kidneys, and experts are trying to figure out why. Dr. Craig Shapiro at Baptist Health has seen firsthand severe patients are also ending up with kidney disease. The hospital has few COVID patients, but of those in the ICU. There has been a high percentage of them requiring either or experiencing acute kidney failure, uh, of which uh, a significant portion of them are requiring dialysis. Experts like Dr. Shapiro aren't exactly sure how COVID-19 leads to kidney damage. One theory is... Low blood flow to the kidneys. Another theory... Possible direct a toxic effect to the kidney cells themselves. Meaning the virus could be directly attacking the kidneys. Kidney disease linked to COVID-19 could affect what types of medications a patient can take and their kidney's ability to flush toxins out of their system. If there is a surge in coronavirus patients, Baptist is prepared. They anticipate that an increase in COVID-19 patients means an increase in those patients seeing kidney damage. So what they've done is to get extra dialysis machines and extra personnel to operate them. In Jacksonville, Eliza Powell, First Coast News, on your side. Eliza, thank